Welcome back to Trigger Point Tuesday. Last week we talked about the foot. We talked about the integrity of those deep muscles, those stabilizers, and a few things you can do to help correct that. And this week what we're going to talk about is more than knee. We're going to talk about that relationship of the femur and the pelvic girdle. So one of the big problems that we see is excessive knee valgus. Now that just basically means that that knee is falling in. Now it can be because that foundation, the foot's not doing its job, but what we're going to look at this week is the hips themselves. So today I want you to have your grid foam roller with you, and I also want you to have a trigger point massage ball. So we're going to start off by looking at some of these short adductors. So we have the pectineus and the adductor brevis. Now they're basically going to attach from that pubic bone down into the femur. Because of their position, they're going to function more like a hip flexor than an adductor, but of course they still have that adduction component. So we're going to address those with the grid foam roller, and then we're also going to get the TFL. So what starts to happen is all these muscles, if they're hip flexors, like we just said, they're going to start to pull that ilium or that hip bone forward. That's going to alter that control, and then we'll start to see above the hip opposite side problems over in that quadratus lumborum. And that's what we're going to use the TP massage ball for. And then I'll show you a few moves where you can reintegrate that newfound mobility in with some stability with the central nervous system. So let's start off with the grid. We're going to take it here, make it perpendicular to the femur. We're going to come down into that prone position. This is going to go very close to the midline. Put both forearms down on the ground, and I want you to turn your hips into the floor. So imagine there's a headlight on each hip. We want it pointing straight ahead. And you'll notice there's some tender spots right in there. So take a couple of big deep breaths. And now for our movement here, we're going to slowly rock out and in. Not a big movement, we're doing that five times. There's two, three, four, and five. And now we're going to do five cross frictions. So I like to plant my toe into the ground and push up and back for one, two, three, four, and five. Feel free to spend a little bit more time on that if you'd like, but for today we're now going to move on to the TFL. So we're going to flip right over. Now the TFL is going to run from the hip bone right down into the IT band. A good way to find it is to take your hand, put it right here on the hip, and internally rotate. As soon as you start to move, you'll feel that TFL pop up into your hand. That's right where the grid foam roller goes. So we're going to put that TFL right in the center of the grid foam roller. I'm going to take that back knee and set it down on the ground. So notice here on the ground that I'm going to bend the knee. Now our motion here, we're still doing five and five, so we're going to do a small roll up and roll back for two, three, four. I'm also at about a 45 degree angle here. There's four and five. Now with that knee still planted, notice here, I'm going to let that back foot fall out to the ground and then back up. So this is like a cross fiber friction, sort of a mashing type of move. There's three, four, one more is five. Now understand what we're doing there is pinning down that TFL and we're making that femur rotate underneath it. Now for our next one, to go to that opposite side QL, I want you to grab your TP massage ball. Now you're going to place this right above the hip so you can find the top of that hip bone and this is going to go right above it. And notice I'm a couple inches to the left of my spine. Now keep in mind, this is the opposite side. So if we look at frontal plane stability, our lateral subsystem is adductor, TFL, glute knee, and then opposite side QL. So we're going to position this right above the hip bone here. Lay flat here on your back. Now our motion here is to take this leg Fully extended, bring it in, pull into the chest, pause for just a moment, and let's repeat that five times. There's one, two, three, be sure you're breathing, four, last one here is five. Now cross ankle over the opposite side knee, and here we're going to go side to side. So a slight roll, so that ball is going to go to the outside just a couple of inches, and then back to that starting position. There's one, two, three, four, be sure you're breathing, and five, perfect. 
So we address those areas, adductor, TFL, opposite side, QL. Now we're going to activate some muscles. Feel free to do some static stretching in between that to add a little bit more of that normal muscle length, but we're going to go into the activation techniques. So here we're going to do a bridge with our grid foam roller. Grid's placed here. I want you to put it right below the shoulders, so notice where it is. My fingertips are going to support the base of my skull. Now from here, equal pressure on my toes and heels, I'm going to lift the hips straight up to the sky. Now notice my hips here are completely opened, and my cervical spine and everything else is remaining neutral. Down nice and slow, drive back up, and all the way down. Tap the rear end on the ground. Be sure we keep the core engaged so we're maintaining that spinal integrity. And be sure you're breathing. So I think I did about five there. I want you to do about 15. Now for our next one, we're going to stand up and reintegrate that into a total body movement pattern again using the grid foam roller. All right, so once we massage those areas, then we activate that, that big prime mover here that's typically not working. Now we're going to reintegrate that into it with a total body movement. So let's grab your grid foam roller. We're going to do total body tension, so your fingertips here will be extended, and I want you to retract and depress the shoulder blades and maintain that compression onto the grid. Now what that's going to do is pre-activate all of these core muscles, and it's going to lead to a cleaner motion, and that's going to reintegrate that central nervous system back into that pattern. So from here, I'm going to get my balance on my right leg. Remember, that's the one that we worked. I'm just going to go into a simple reverse lunge with a slight wood chop pattern here to the side. So notice this loads this right hip over here, and then I'm going to pull up out of it to a nice stable position. Keep it slow and controlled. Remember, it's the quality of the movement, not the quantity. Loading that hip, pull up out of it into a nice neutral position. Hip should stay level here at the top. So again, repeat that 10 to 12 times. That's going to be for that, front, that frontal plane stability. That's a great dynamic warm-up before you go run or before you go lift. So try it a few times. Leave your comments on Facebook and let me know how it's working. And we'll see you next week for Trigger Point Tuesday.